This is Witchbase News for Friday the 24th of September 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week Salvation starts the week with a nice genocide There's an exploration community goal and a chance to get your name into the game and Patch 7 arrives to Odyssey and more. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe. Remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. As we reported last week the shadowy he, she, they, it that would be king slash messiah slash toy maker general known only as Salvation predicted that the Kornsar system would be the victim of a Thargoid attack in the coming days despite Eagle Eye, the formerly moderately reliable Aegis early warning system reporting nothing of the sort. True to their prediction and right on the Thargs Day queue the two stations of the Kornsar system showed caustic goopy damage and were set ablaze. That's convenient isn't it? So far so Thargoid. Not just content with predicting the news it seems that Salivation, sorry Salvation is also happy to make the news in more ways than one we suspect to be honest having encouraged the community to deliver a secret something from one megaship to another in return for some new prototype anti thargoid bangbangs the shadowy sandwich nation then decided to kick off their week with a nicely crazed thargicidal murder spree. In case you're unaware, immediately following the apparent Thargoid attack on the two stations in Kornsar there were no Thargoid POIs or human signal sources in the system. It then became apparent that the system was full of combat aftermath signals that themselves contained two things destroyed human ships and loads of Thargoid materials that wouldn't ordinarily be found in space. They normally only appear at Guardian surface sites. As time went on the system started to fill with Thargoid vessels however. Importantly they didn't appear in AX conflict zones as would normally be the case. Just POIs and non-human signal sources. That lack of AX CZs is important. I'll come back to that in a moment. So the impromptu CG that we spoke of last week continued commanders shipping mysterious not medicines in return for the promise of new AX weapons and the independent commanders of the pilots federation continue to visit hellfire and destruction on the visiting despair daisies and rescue the stranded civilians from the burning stations in the system. So far so elite dangerous. Then as suddenly as it had started it stopped. On Monday we began seeing reports that the Kornsar system was suddenly and unexpectedly devoid of Thargoid signal sources and the planets of the system were instead, brace yourself, littered with crashed and destroyed Thargoid vessels. A day or so later Salvation spoke again this time to claim responsibility for the decimation of the Thargoid fleet in Kornsar. So here's a rough chain of events for you. You're going to need a lot of tin foil wrapping for this. Back around June there was a community goal to deliver a huge quantity of Guardian materials to the Aegis owned megaship the Alexandria. A Thargoid fleet was known to be trailing the ship and its Guardian materials. When jumping through hyperspace with a cargo hold full of Guardian stuff the Alexandria disappeared it was assumed it was hyperdicted and destroyed by the caustic cauliflowers. This was however never proven as the Alexandria was never found. Jump forward to this week. Two stations are attacked with damage of the type generally perpetrated by the Pleiades panic pansies. However that damage is not exclusive to the goids. It's also been used by the NMLA terrorists as it's easily replicated with caustic warheads. Immediately following that attack independent pilots swarm to the system but there are no Thargoids present. They do find however signal sources full of Guardian materials. It's only then that the Thargoids begin to arrive drawn, you could argue, by the smell of Guardian materials. The Thargoid forces present in POIs not AXCZs. They're not fighting, there's no human ships in the POIs 
the goids are just present in the system. A couple of days pass whilst Salvation has independent pilots transporting a mysterious cargo between megaships and then suddenly the Thargoid fleet is utterly decimated by who knows what. Salvation later claims responsibility and pays everyone off with a nice new shiny gauss cannon based on Guardian technology. I would suggest boys and girls that the circumstantial evidence here would certainly seem to indicate that whatever or whomever Salvation is not only bombed the Kornsar starports killing thousands of civilians deliberately making it look like the Terra Triffids had perpetrated the attack but that they are also responsible for the disappearance and presumed destruction of the Alexandria with the loss of all hands and that they stole the Guardian artifacts on board the ill fated vessel for their own nefarious agenda which has yet to be revealed. If we're right not only did we just deal the Thargoids a preemptive blow that they will not take kindly to but also that we are being manipulated and used by the entity calling themselves Salvation who may well hold responsibility for the deaths of thousands of civilians and Aegis lives in just these events alone. If Salvation comes calling again you may want to consider sending them to answer phone. Of course they are now handing out some brand new moderately devastating anti Thargoid weapons in the Mibuni system to those that have assisted in the past in exchange for a shopping list of Guardian parts so there are of course other schools of thought. At the very least no matter what way I look at the situation and the evidence in front of me I am struggling to see anything other than Salvation having shown at least part of their character and indeed their hand and I'm not convinced that they have our best intentions at the heart of their motivations. Frontier launched a new community goal into the game this week and with it comes the opportunity for a lucky few commanders to earn a tourist beacon in the game that bears their name. The community goal sponsored by the manufacturers of the galaxy's finest tourist boats Saud Kruger is asking for exploration data and in particular surface scans of earth like worlds to be delivered to Yule port in the Vistanus system. All exploration data is valid for the CG but scans of earth like worlds will be particularly valuable. When the CG finishes the cetacean loving Krugers will be offering some potentially heavy discounts as well as ships for those that participated to a meaningful level. Alongside the community goal Frontier are also asking for screenshots of potential tourist beacon sites anywhere in the galaxy that are unpopulated and contain an earth like world. Up to 50 winners of the best screenshots will win a tourist beacon in the screenshotted system that contains their commander name as well as a bundle of 5000 arcs to spend in the game. I've linked to the community goal and to the competition in the description below if you want to get your name in the game. You have until the 30th of September. Two updates were deployed into the game this week, one for Horizons on consoles and PCs, the other being update 7 for Odyssey. The headliners for both patches Odyssey and Horizons are an increase in module storage and bookmarks to the new limit of 200 each. The invincible Thargoid heart bug that has persisted in the game for years and proven extremely difficult for Frontier to nail down has been patched again and there are high hopes that this time might be the killer. We're waiting on word from our contacts inside the AXI to confirm its final demise as I'm sure are Frontier. Elsewhere the Horizons patch contains a raft of other fixes and tweaks and I've linked to the patch notes in the video description. Update 7 to Elite Dangerous Odyssey comes in significantly bigger with Sally Morgan Moore's lengthy patch notes running easily into the middle of next week. They are also linked below but alongside a shed load of fixes and optimizations, the patch also includes the new frontline solutions deployed surface to air defence turrets in Odyssey's surface settlement conflict zones, the new apex taxi in flight redirection feature, some colour variation and geometry changes to various starport social spaces rocket launching enforcer units are now deployed to surface CZs and though it's not mentioned in the patch notes 
there are now NPC ships fighting in the skies above surface conflict zones. Along with the patch also came a few unexpected bugs. At the time of recording the interdiction HUD is broken and shipborne engineered weapons are outputting way more damage than they should be to hilarious levels in fact. We've seen multiple reports of just about any target being easily one shotted, Thargoids included. The new salvation deployed weapon is also wrapped up in the uber damage bug so that's also outputting comically large damage. As we were recording this video Frontier announced that a patch for Odyssey and Horizons on PC was imminent and would be dropping today. Horizons on the consoles needs longer to implement and that will be deployed as soon as possible next week. Performance wise for Odyssey here at the Burr Pit we're hearing both anecdotally and experiencing here a somewhat mixed bag. We have heard a couple of reports of large frame rate increases but those reports are few and far between. Overall it seems that there may be some general incremental increases but we have also seen some significant but occasional frame rate tanking here in combat zones specifically that wasn't present before but as with most things Odyssey currently your results may vary. Next week we are expecting the monthly developer update and Frontier have hinted that may be arriving on Thursday so we'll watch out for that and report back when it's published. Have you been working for Salvation and if so are you now having second thoughts? Do you still think Salvation is a friend? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.